Hello, this video is going to be on the Alex topic, identifying linear equations advanced. So we want to know which of these equations are going to look like a line when we graph them. So let's determine if these equations are going to be linear. So what I want to do is I want to make a list of when things are linear and when things are nonlinear. And it's going to depend on the variables and how the variables are written. So let's go ahead and use Desmos for this first example. And then using what we learn from our simulation, let's do a second problem with uh, our list. So let's go ahead and put in these equations into the Desmos graphing calculator. And let's kind of look what happens and why it happens. So our first one is x minus 2 over y equals 0. x minus 2 divided by y. See where this is. All right, so if you'll notice, this is a rational function, right? So this is a rational function because the y is in a ratio. So whenever you have a uh, variable in a fraction or in a ratio, that's going to be nonlinear. So let's add that example to our nonlinear. The 2 over y is what makes it nonlinear, what makes it rational. Let's try this one. y equals 8xy minus 2. This is also a rational function, if you'll notice. And the reason is because these uh, variables are being multiplied by each other. x times y, you're still comparing these in, uh, to each other. So whenever you have two variables written next to each other, that's multiplication. If we're adding them, it would be linear. But since we're not, it is going to be a rational. Let's look at this one, y to the fourth plus 8x equals 9. y to the fourth power plus 8x equals 9. Here you can see that this looks like a parabola, but it's facing towards the left. That's because the y has an exponent on it. So whenever we have an exponent, we know that that's going to be a nonlinear function. So what makes this one nonlinear is the y to the fourth power. So if there's an exponent on our variable, we know it's not going to be linear. And let's try this last one. So our last one is 6x plus 8 plus 9y equals x minus 7. 6x plus 8 plus 9y equals x minus 7. Notice that here, 6x and 9y are only being added to each other. x is by itself. And so since we have separate terms and all they have is a coefficient, a number in front of them, this one turns out to be linear. And if you move some of these parts around and you get all the x's by themselves, you could actually write this in slope-intercept form. Right? So when they're linear, let's go ahead and write this one here as an example. 6x, 9y, x. Since these variables are being added or subtracted and not multiplied, this is linear. So your answer would be this one's not, this one's not, this one's not, but this one is. Let's look at another one. All right, so let's see. Here we have an x and a y. Since the y is in the fraction, we know that that's going to be rational and nonlinear. Here we have 2.2 .2 equals 0.08x minus 0.7y. There's nothing that says you can't have decimals in front of your x and y values. Since you're subtracting these and not multiplying them, 
this is going to be linear. Here you have y equals 5x squared plus x. The reason that it's nonlinear is because the x is being squared here. So that's not, that's going to be quadratic. And here you have 8y equals x minus 2. Since the x and the y are not being, are not being multiplied and they're separate from each other, this is going to be linear. So no yes, no yes. No yes, no yes.